Can you kindly talk about patience in musical growth? Yes. And this is going to be a life lesson <laughs> because it really does apply to not just music, but in all aspects of life. You have to stop looking at music as a destination, something to conquer. That's when you start getting frustrated. That's when you start losing patience because you're looking at it as a point A to B and you're in a rush to get to the B, right? I need to conquer, I need to arrive. I, once you start to look at music and anything in life through that lens, a destination that needs to be conquered, that's when you get impatient. That's when you start losing interest. When I started music 20 years ago, I did not know I would have gotten to where I am today. I could, my mind would have never been able to fathom that I would be able to play like this today. But I learned from early on that this was something that was, I'm going to take to the grave, meaning it's who I am now. I'm a musician, I'm a pianist, that's it. I have the length of my life to learn the skill. And the minute I was able to make that mental flip, I stopped freaking out about stuff. I'm no longer impatient. I was talking to a student yesterday and she says, you know, I've been working on the song and I've already spent a week on it. And I'm just wondering if that's too long to learn. And I says, no, I've spent six months on a song before. Not recently, but when I was in college, I would spend six months learning a Beethoven sonata. I'm six months learning a concerto. It'll, it will take as how long it needs to take. That's it. So people get frustrated and they start to count the hours and they start to count the minutes, how long they've been doing something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've been working on it for one day, one month or one year. The most important thing is, are you enjoying the process? And if you're not enjoying the process, you need to evaluate why. And so once that switch flipped for me, I realized that if I can enjoy each day of my musical practice and my musical experience, then it doesn't matter how long it takes me to learn something. It doesn't matter how long it takes me to get to advance. Because that was one of the biggest thing as a young pianist. Oh, how long is it going to take me to sound like the guy on the recording? How long is it going to take me to learn all 12 keys? How long is it going to take me to be able to play my scale at 40 BPM or 140 BPM? How long is it going to take me to learn 10 songs? It was always this, I need to conquer and how long it's going to take as if there's a rush. There isn't. And you find out once you can learn to appreciate the small wins, the small accomplishment, to enjoy the in the moment, the beauty of the music that you're currently crafting right now. Only think about the here and now. Once you can make that mental switch to think about music through that lens, not only are you able to stay more consistent with your practicing, not only are you able to enjoy practicing more, you're able to make progress faster because you're no longer in a rush. You learn how to be patient and you learn how to stay the course. Like I said, I have been glued to a piano for 20 years. I am fortunate enough to do this as a lit for a living, but even before I made a dime from piano, I've already invested 20, uh, 10,000 hours of practice before I made a single dollar. And even if I didn't make a single dollar, I would still be playing piano today because I never treated it as a mountain to be conquered. I never treated it as a paycheck where I only play if I'm getting paid or I only practice if I'm getting paid. No, I was so obsessed with just knowing music, wanting to understand what was going on, wanting to be able to reproduce what I was hearing for myself. That obsession is what still fuels me today. Why? Because I enjoy learning about music. I enjoy figuring out new things. I enjoy transcribing a new song, taking a peek behind the curtain to see how the chords are put together. I enjoy the process, and I think that's one of the reasons I am where I am today. Started music 20 years ago, and a lot of my colleagues that I started with completely gave up on music. I can't really speak to why they gave up, but I know I can speak to why I didn't. 
Because when I look at the alternative, I was like, nope. What am I going to do if I didn't have music? I can't think of a life without music. And that's the place you want to get, where music is literally a part of who you are. And once you're able to get to that place, then nothing else matters. Timeline is irrelevant. How long it takes you to do something or to learn something, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is, are you enjoying the process? That's the encouragement I have for you, Bravian. That's how you stay patient. That's how you keep growing. It's a mental switch that needs to happen. We have to stop thinking about destinations, point A to B. And in life, we think about everything about destination. And that's why we're always in a rush and not really going anywhere because life is not a rush. I mean, think about it. With the technology that exists today in terms of health and doctors, most of us, so long as we take good care of our bodies, most of us is going to easily live to 90. Unless the Lord calls us home early, if you live a comfortably, relatively healthy life, you should make it to 90, right? So if you're 30 and you're like, oh, I've been playing for 10 years and I still suck, you still got average 50 years ahead of you to catch up, right? Most of us are going to live to 90. And so once you look at life through that long timeline, you realize, why am I freaking out? There's time. Remember, I've only been doing this for 20 years. So everything that I do, I've only accomplished in 20 years. So if you have, on average, 40, 50 years I have to give you, just think of how much you can learn. If you invest just one hour a week, which is nothing, one hour a week for the next 20 years, just imagine how far you can be. And so the biggest thing that's beating folks from growing is consistency. And they're not consistent because they're getting impatient. And so they're giving up. Don't give up. Just keep on chucking. And most importantly, keep on enjoying the process. Once you approach music and learning through that lens, there's no telling how far you'll get.